low objective personality cult members. So I'm here to talk about my most favorite FI thing in the whole wide world. Statistics. Yay! And hopefully I can make a dry topic interesting. So I'm going to be talking about the statistics that I've collected for people that have been officially typed in objective personality by Dave and Shannon. So let me get my presentation started here. Oops. Okay, let me go back to the beginning. Okay. So the statistics include 348 objective personality class members officially typed by Dave and Shannon as of May 2nd, 2021. And I will be linking a document where I record the statistics in the video description. You're welcome to view that document. And I continuously update this document. So I imagine that these numbers will change over time. So looking at the full 512 type, the most common one is masculine, feminine, any FI, consume, play, blast, sleep. Eight people of that type. Followed by double feminine, NITE, blast, play, consume, sleep with seven people. And then we have five types that are tied at six people each. And there are lots of types that have nobody at all. You know, way too many to list here. And hopefully over time, you know, Dave and Shannon will fill in those holes and they'll find people of all the 512 types. If we're looking at the 16 Myers-Briggs types, interestingly enough, the most common one here is ESFP, 14.1%. And that's not what you're going to see in the Myers-Briggs communities. And of course, the Myers-Briggs communities, what do they rely on? Self-reporting. And, you know, ESFP is just not the most desired type in the MBTI communities. And people don't rarely report themselves as ESFPs. Um, however, ENFPs are common in objective personality, 12.4%. And you do see a lot of them in the typology communities. Um, also common, INTJs, 10.9%, um, followed by ISTPs, 10.1%, probably a bit more common in a OP versus the typology communities. Now, if you look at the rarest types, ISFJ, only 1.4%. Again, that, that's not a type that's particularly desirable in the MBTI community, but I'm kind of surprised that it's that low in the OP community. And it could just be because those types just aren't as drawn to objective personality and aren't as interested in getting themselves typed, maybe. And um, ESFJs aren't very common either, 2%. And ISFP is only 3.4%, not so common. Um, surprisingly, INFPs aren't very common either, only 3.2%. You see a lot more INFPs that are being that are self-typed in, in Myers-Briggs communities. Um, and then my type ISTJ, probably not that surprising in OP, 4.0%. Now... If you also consider jumpers, if you look at the level of 32 types with the jumpers included, most common is NEFI, the standard version of ENFP, 35 people, um, about 10% of the people that Dave and Shannon have typed. And this is followed by SEFI, standard ENFP, and 
TISC, standard I ISTP, are both quite a few people getting that. But then way over here, we only have one person that's SITI and only one FENI, which is kind of surprising. You know, why are those two combinations so rare? You know, is it just because Dave and Shannon have trouble spotting them? Maybe. Or are they just not as interested in getting themselves typed? Okay, so it looks like the standard versions of types are more common than the jumpers. You know, even though the jumpers are half of the total types, the standard variations are more common, 64% versus 36% for jumpers. If you look at the letters, it's quite balanced between S and N. You know, this is something you don't really see in the Myers-Briggs community because a lot more people will self-report themselves as intuitives. But here it's, you know, N 52%, 48% for sensing. It's quite balanced. And in reality, it might skew more towards sensing um, because I think intuitive types might be more inclined to be interested in this kind of thing because it's a typology theory. But then on the other hand, there is an empirical nature to objective personality more so than the other Myers-Briggs groups out there. So that might draw more sensing types in. So, yeah. Thinking versus feeling. Um, thinking is a little bit more common, 57.5% thinking versus 42.5% feeling. Um, you know, in the MBTI community, you know, I think it's pretty balanced between thinking and feeling. And if you look at the letter pairs, um, yeah, it, it's quite balanced between between the four pairs. SF is slightly less common at 19%, but yeah, not not by any means rare. So, and and you know, again, in the MBTI community, you know, it's overwhelmingly N, and you just don't see that with objective personality. Looking at the lead functions, interestingly enough, SE is the most common, 20.4%. Second most common is NE, not surprisingly, 20.1%. Um, TI, third, 17%. Uh, then we got NI, 15.8%. TE, 10.3%. Um, then the most rare function is FE, only 4.3%, which is kind of surprising. And SI, 5.5%, and even FI is 6.6%. I kind of thought maybe FI would be a bit higher. So the percentage of people having a savior function, so could be their first savior function or their second savior function. So, so just having it somewhere in there. So SC is the most common savior function. 36.5% of people have savior SC. Um, FI is second, even though there aren't so as many lead um, FI types, there are quite a few people that have FI second because there's a lot of ESFPs and ENFPs in OP. So that brings it up to 32.2%. Closely behind that, TI and NE. Uh, the rarest is FE, 9.8%, and SI at 11.8%. Moving on to human needs, observers versus deciders. Single observers are somewhat more common, 61% versus 39% single deciders. So the single observers 
are the IJ and the EP types, and the single deciders are the EJ and the IP types. If you look at the core human need, gather is the most common, 40.5%. These are the EP types. Um, second is self at 24%, IP types. And third is organized, IJ types. And then last is tribe, which are the EJ types. And I'm not that surprised that gather is the most common core human need because objective personality, you know, it's a new cutting edge typology system. And I think it's going to draw in a lot of people that really like to take in the new. So if we look at self versus tribe, um, savior self DI is more common. 64% versus being Savior Tribe, 36%. And, you know, and I think, you know, I'm not too surprised by this because I think personality typology tends to attract a lot of DIs because it's, you know, about discovering yourself and understanding who you are. So, so yeah, and in an objective personality, it also seems to skew that way. Organize versus gather, 67% um, gather, and 33% organize. And again, I don't think that's particularly surprising. Okay, let's look at animals now. So play versus sleep. So play is somewhat more common, 60%, versus save your sleep, 40%. And... If you consider the nature of the objective personality community, I don't think this is that surprising. Um, you know, most of because you ha because I'm getting these statistics from social media websites. I'm getting them from Facebook groups. I'm getting them from Discord. I'm getting them from people that go on interviews on YouTube and share their type. I mean that's all going to be more attractive to people with play, with, with play as a savior. So I suspect that there may be more savior sleeps out there that are not reporting their types, that maybe aren't involved in social media, and they just secretly got typed. So I suspect that the real amount of sleeps is higher than, than what I have reported here, but I can't prove that. Blast versus consume. This one's a bit more skewed. 70% save your consume, 30% save your blast. Not too surprising, though, if you look at it from the human needs perspective, because consume is the combination of OE plus DI. And I think it's those two human needs that are more inclined to take an interest in objective personality and get typed. Looking at the first animal, almost half have savior consume, or I mean almost half have lead consume, 48%. And then if you look at the last animal, blast is the most common at 40%. And then sleep last is the next most common, 32%. Um, less common, consume last at 15%. I'm not surprised about that one. I'm a little more surprised maybe at play last, 13%. Because I just see a lot of people that think that they're play last. But again, that's self-reporting which is not what OP relies on. And, and I guess in the objective personality community with social media, um, you're not going to get as many play lasts there. So the real number of play lasts is probably somewhat higher than, than, than this number here because these are only the people that have reported their type that I know of. If you look at the savior-animal combinations, consume play, 
is by far the most common, 44%. Um, then consume sleep, next most common, 26.4%. Blast play, 16.1%. Least common is blast sleep, 13.5%. Information versus energy dominant. Um, energy dominant is slightly more common, about 55% versus 45% information dominant. Um, so just to review here, energy dominant means that the two energy animals, sleep and play, are in your top three animals. And then information dominant means that the two information animals, blast and consume, are in the top three animals. So if you look at the full animal stacking here, the most common full animal stacking is consume, play, blast, sleep at 16%. Second most common is consume, play, sleep, blast, uh, followed by consume, sleep, play, blast, 11%. Now the rarest animal stacking, this little sliver here, is sleep, blast, consume, play last. Only 1%. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm surprised that it's that rare. I mean, even the celebrities that Dave and Shannon have typed in their classes, out of 161 celebrities that they've typed, only two of them have had that animal stacking. Yeah, so I'm not sure why that one in, is so rare. I mean, I guess I can see why play last might be rare, rarer in the objective personality community, but I just don't, I'm just surprised that it's that rare. I mean, I guess Savior Blast is rarer too, um, but, but even then, yeah, only 1%. And then this one isn't very common either, play, blast, sleep, consume, 1.7%. Um, and then this one over here, sleep, consume, blast, play. I mean, I'm surprised in a way that it's that rare, but then that's the most introverted stacking. And, and, and those people just may not be drawn to social media, so we're not seeing those people and they're not openly sharing their types. And then if you look at function activation, 45% have both of their savior functions double activated. And whereas only 25% of the total types would, you know, 20, you know, 128 of the 512 possible types would have the savior functions double activated. So this is definitely more than what's occurring by just random chance here. Glass lizards are at 28%. So a glass lizard is somebody that has their fourth function double activated. So 25% of the, of the 512 types are glass lizards. So this is slightly higher than random chance. Okay, and the sexual modalities. So masculine, feminine, sensory, almost evenly balanced, 50.3% feminine sensory, 48% masculine sensory, 1.7% unable to be determined. Now this one over here though is the most skewed of all of the coins. This is the masculine feminine extroverted decider function. 76.4% have feminine extroverted decider. Only 22.7% have masculine extroverted decider with 0.9% um, unknown. So, I mean, I'm not surprised that feminine extroverted decider is more common, at least, you know, among the people that I interact with in real life. You know, it just seems like the majority of people you know, they're easy with the tribe, they're accommodating, they're trying to avoid conflict. 
So when there is somebody that's more punchy on the extroverted decider function and has a masculine, it stands out more to me, you know, maybe because it's less common. And then looking at modalities. So double feminine, most common, 42.5%. Next most common is masculine feminine. So masculine sensing with feminine extroverted decider. Um, that's a third of the people. Double the masculine, 15%, uh, and about 8% for feminine masculine, those visuals that have feminine sensory and masculine extroverted decider. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely the most rare modality. And, and that's also been consistent with what I've seen in the classes where they type the celebrities. Um, that's also the rarest modality. Although I don't know if it's quite that low, but it's definitely lower than the others. Um, and then 1.7% that were unable to be clearly determined. All right. So where I want to take the statistics in the future, I, I want to compare males versus females. And because um, I haven't been tracking this, I've been just looking, I was just more interested in, you know, what are the, the numbers of people but yeah, this is something I do want to do in the future, um, you know, to see if certain coins correlate with males versus females. Second, compare celebrities to objective personality class members. Um, are there different patterns with celebrities that have been typed? Maybe, because, you know, objective personality class members yeah, it skews a lot towards save your play, you know, because 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 this is social media. It skews more towards save your gather, save your DI. You know, the people that are interested in objective personality that want to get typed, but celebrities, um, you're not going to have that bias towards, you know, necessarily towards gather or DI. Although you might get more savior plays among celebrities because they're out there, they're famous, and, you know, you may get more extroverts. So, but yeah, it'd be interesting to compare the patterns between those two. And then finally, compare self-type versus official type. Um, I, I kind of think that self-types might be more skewed towards intuitive and more skewed towards you know, more introverted types, you know, high sleep and consume. Um, and then I also want to compare, you know, people that, that got that self-typed and then later got officially typed and, and just see like how many coins people are getting right. What are the most common coins people get correct? And when people mess up, where do they mess up? That'd be interesting to find out. So yeah, I, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful, insightful. I will be posting a link to, to my document of statistics in the, um, in the video description. So please, you know, look over that link and I will continuously update the statistics. So these numbers may change over time. And yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. Bye-bye.